Hi there guys and welcome to this, the virtual walk round of our 63 plate VW Golf GTI finished in the special solid paint from factory, pure white. The GTI, everybody knows, a name synonymous with performance, hot hatches, great build quality, absolutely unbelievable reliability and just a great looking car. So let's get stuck into exactly why that is. So as you can see here, you've got your LED headlights with your daytime runners, and you've got the gorgeous, sumptuous red line and styling pack associated with the GTI brand. Honeycomb grill, front parking sensors, front canyards, bespoke front bumper. It's just a great looking bit of kit. Moving on round, you've got your 18 inch Austin alloy wheels, diamond cut which is silver and gloss black and of course you've got your red GTI caliper just behind. Now this particular model also has some nice aftermarket mods on, nothing major, just aesthetic. As you can see you've got a side sill extender or a little side splitter just there. Moving on, you've got your red GTI livery on the front wing, you've got your mirrors with your built in indicators and you've got a black door trim, not wrapped, not plastic, black window rubbers just gives it a more stealthy appearance. Gloss black door pillars and lots of lovely straight smooth lines across the bodywork. Really, really good looking bit of kit. LED tail lights, you've got rear parking sensors. And you've got the famous GTI livery and VW. Moving down, you can see you've got a nice dual exhaust with a black honeycomb grill diffuser just there. You've got a high level third light brake in your lip spoiler, and that's got a really nice little feature of the gloss black pillars that support the structure there. Boot itself, as I say on all of them, being a golf, they're designed to do everything. Not massively long, but quite wide, quite high. And also, if you are struggling or you're a golfer, you've got load through. So what you can see there, you can easily get your groceries, your shopping, your luggage, any push chairs or buggies of that nature. Under there, you've got a steely and a little bit more storage if you want to use it. Moving around, you can see again, lovely straight lines really really nice car it's the iconic shape and the gti is certainly one for the vw fanboys so that is pretty much everything on the outside what we're going to do now we're going to head on to the inside and i'm going to show you some more of the features that the gti has to offer you as a potential new owner let's roll so where else to begin than with the jakara tartan gti cloth interior it's the thing that makes a GTI stand out the most and it's such a cool design that brings back nostalgia, memories of your first GTI and it's just synonymous with the brand. It's absolutely stunning. But not only that, this GTI starting on the door card has a massive amount of features. You've got electric windows, and you've got a real nice almost carbon effect inside so you can just see it on there with the chrome styling you've got heated folding door mirrors and central locking moving down you've got your illuminated door inlay stainless steel pedals automatic headlights air conditioning multi-function napper leather with a red contrast stitched steering wheel you've got a manual gear stick you've got drive select mode you've got black and silver liver etched all over you've got everything that you could possibly need but let's take a closer look so the seats they are the front seats they are sports seats they also have the little handy bit here to move it back and save you having to manually pull your chair forward each time and the tartan as i say it's a really nice really solid design as well it's not going to get ground in any dirt or any issues nowhere to the bolster so they're sturdy you've got lumbar support you've got movement and you've got a really cool feature of a 1.5 kilogram max loading tray for storage underneath so getting in the gti you can see 
it's really really cool looking got a nice little media system just here that's a touch screen doesn't have sat nav just so you are aware the button would normally be here but you've got dab radio bluetooth media streaming mobile phone connectivity and a range of different things that you can use to set up and configure the car as you want no heated seat but you don't miss it you have got dual zone air conditioning and in here you have also got a specific lead for your auxiliary or your apple iphone moving down manual gear knob as you can see there really nice it's got the bobbled leather to ensure nice grip a lot more comfort you've got your parking sensors you've got drive select mode auto start stop and traction control off you've got an electronic parking brake auto hold on the hill two cup holders in there further storage underneath and even the armrest has got that really nice jacara colorway so it's got the red and black cloth and in here you've got sd card facility and cd player we've also got your lucky wheel look you see the carbon effect all the way across and then onto the passenger door electric mirror half cloth with the other bit as well so in the rear you can see the seats are in great condition you've got full isofix points on those just to ensure that if you do have children again the golf that can do everything you're able to fit them in with relative ease and you can see that you've got no marking on any of the seats i don't actually think that they've ever been used being a two-door that would signify to me that there's been no children in the car really nice no marks second isofix point and it's just a nice looking heritage laden hot hatchback so what i'll do now i'll turn the car on and i'll show you some of the features from the media system so turning the car on isn't keyless so key in one turn you can see the car starts no problems no issues no judders no delay anything of that nature of course it's been checked at the emerald service center as part of our 128 point check service and process that we offer on every car that covers cosmetic and mechanical if there's anything that needs doing before it lands on our pitch it's already done nice analog display contrast red needles and a nice little monitor in the middle where you can just using this button on the multifunction steering wheel scroll through and choose what menu you want to go through so this at the minute is on driving data so if you click on there you've got your range you've got consumption you've got oil temperature now on these if you are going to drive them enthusiastically i would recommend that you get to 74 to 84 degrees before you even think about it speed warning and you've got an electronic speedometer as well average speed distance traveling time and more consumption figures what we'll do now ready for when one of you guys pick it up we'll put it on there so assist systems on there you can see the acc is deactivated that is just the cruise control on there for you we have the audio so there on there you can see you've got dab whether that be your bluetooth whether it be your media streaming whether it be your iphone anything of that nature that's where it will be displayed Bluetooth telephone and vehicle status. So this is almost your onboard diagnostics or fault entry. If I open the door, you can see that the door is open. If I had no fuel, for example, that's where that would be listed. Lap timer for the petrol heads among us. And now we're back to the standard option. So the multifunction steering wheel, we touched upon it briefly. You've got cruise control, you've got volume control, Moving across, you've got your Bluetooth telephone, your instrument cluster display menu, and of course, how to skip your tracks or songs on your media device. Down here, we've got the Crown Finish GTI livery, lovely Nappa leather with the red contrast stitching, and of course, it's flat bottomed, which everybody loves. So the media system, DAB radio, Bluetooth, as you know, you can listen to anything, but on here you've got CD, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio, or you can store your music to an SD card and keep that in the compartment just there. Bluetooth telephone, really simple. Click on find telephone, your device will come up and you can get it all from there. Setup, you can go onto this and this is just the setup for the media system, screen, time, date, units, factory settings, Bluetooth, system information and other areas. 
sound pretty obvious you can get on this and you can either do the beeping buttons that when you click on something or you can change the setup and almost the way that the sound is delivered through the standard audio system to suit your own needs if you click on car and you click on setup this will give you all the settings for your vehicle so you've got electronic stability control tires on there you can set your tire pressures so if you want to do it again that's that simple winter tires you've got a speed warning don't know why it would be at 150 mind because these don't do it so what we'll do we'll do it at 50 for the next owner driver assistant you've got adaptive cruise control front assist advanced warning driver alert system so the driver alert system is if you've been driving for a long period of time arguments say you're going fishing in the south of france or to disneyland paris but you're driving it will tell you when you need a rest Moving on here, you've got parking and manoeuvring, so park pilot, the volume settings. On here, you've got mirrors, wipers, you've got the light, dynamic curve lighting, so when you turn a corner, your headlight will follow with you. You've got all different aspects here. There's far too many to list. Multi-function display, that is the one that is in the instrument cluster just there, and you can do and choose as what you want on that. Units, most important one, service, you can see just under a year until your next service is due we would have done that as part of our prep as we do on every single vehicle so on there you can see you can bring up driving data or convenience for the consumers if you click on the menu that will bring up everything we've just discussed in old school format moving down here as i say no heated seats but you do have dual zone aircon as i like to say for him or for her I'm too hot so I've got it on low she's definitely not hot and she needs it whacked all the way up to the highest setting just to ensure that your passenger or your bride is fully happy with your long drive you can turn it up here and that almost changes the severity of how fast the wind is delivered from out of the vent system or you can just turn it off if you really want to Moving down here, so you've got your manual gear lever, but this is the real bit that people love. Mode select, so if you click on this, you've got four modes to choose from. Normal, sport, eco, and individual. They are quite self-explanatory. Normal is just a standard driving mode with enough power and enough economical factors to deliver a nice driving experience. Sport, everything is obviously turned up, so you can see your steering, your engine, your cruise control, and your light, aside from your aircon, is all in sport. Eco, as you'll see in this, everything is in eco mode. It's the optimum driving to ensure you're going green. But if you click on individual, you can tailor make it to your own sort of configuration. So you could have normal steering, the engine sounds better, your cruise control is set to eco, your bend light is sport, and your aircon is also eco. And then finally here you have your auto hold so we'll turn that on so that will now once that's on and you're driving along once you're on a hill that will hold it for you and you've of course got your electronic parking brake which you'll hear by that noise there so that ladies and gentlemen before i go i did almost forget here you've got your lane assist and your front assist you've got your high beam headlights here and you've also got your indicators and wipers down here with your fog lights and auto lights there. And now I've covered everything, it's time to say thank you very much for watching. We do offer a vast, vast amount of options for you purchasing this car. We have lots of finance companies that we deal with. We can offer great prices on your part exchange. And more importantly, we can offer you the best buying experience that you've ever had not just buying a car, ever. So please, if you have any questions about the video, the car, or just anything in general regarding our company, give our team a call today and we'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you very much for watching and we'll speak to you very soon.